Uh, kwa majina naitwa Rachel Mikali Mwene. Ni mwanaharakati uh, na tetea haki za wamama wasichana binadamu. Uh, na pia mimi pan African feminist. Na convene vuku vuku la wanaharakati inaitwa Coalition for Grassroots Human Rights Defenders Kenya. Tuko based Madare. Na mimi ni board member wa Amnesty International Kenya na Youth Advisory Report wa Denmark in Kenya na wa minister wa wa development cooperation na support member ya youth um, wa policy na development I think to be clear is that even if I'm having the titles I'm having is because I've worked to be where I, I am and the fact I'm from not a privileged community and uh, it's more of an uh, informal settlement, it's even harder. And the fact that I'm a black young woman is not easy. Yeah. The Makama was with the Ukereketa, na kuwa feminist, because lazima to believe that women are not homogeneous. Because I have been radical courses, like I said, I have been sex worker, I have been on drugs, I have been on the PSV team, I have been on access to self-abortion. I have been already due to the community who have been on the human and human rights. Most of the time, I have been against me. The fact that I have been online and post, as you could see, I have been bread and butter, I have been obvious. Um, resistance na the fact mimi mwenyewe napata hiyo resistance na mimi ni demonta so na mimi na ile rights zangu so mujuliza what about wale wanawake wengine wana hiyo privilege na hiyo space na pia tukiangalia kazi tunafanya kama hiyo even ending violence against women and girls mimi naangalia hata hiyo violence hiyo online ni part of violence but watu wengi wanga wa acknowledge ni part of violence so iko inclusive for human rights kwa sababu ni violence online the fact I'm saying I could have done it, eh? Is that my daco? I see I could zinja like. Yeah, the violence. Na kwanza ni mwanaume. So na kulinga na viyato na normalize if I could be able. Yeah. Na na pena pema nilizai oswali ni ni demu ageto. Na unajua pia kumekuwa na hiyo narrative ya online ama de mabombe ama ni mabombe. The fact lazima tu acknowledge stories za IT si mademu wengi ama si watu wengi wa ghetto kuna privilege ya smartphone but si mademu wengi pia wa ghetto ukikompare na wanaume machali wa ghetto wengi kuna smartphone compare na mademu wa ghetto. So utapata issues mob to raise kutoka kwa mashinani ni ngumu sana zifike kwa mtandao. One kwanza kuna mtu kurushia maneno venye kizungu yako jenda shule unanipata Second league unavyo kiandika shen, kuna mtu anana weni mtiaji. Wendi na rada ya 21st century. So unapata na limit mademu wengi kuingia kwa yu space. Thirdly, utapata mabishti zako within your own space wa yuko kwa mtandao. So mtu waki kuwa attack, auna ile bongi yako watasema kujeni munisaidie kujitetea yu upande. So unapata the fact, yes, inawaka against women, the digital space or online space, but it works even more harder for a grassroots ghetto guy. Yeah, because you know, to me, an example is Kile. My best friend got on a smartphone. I'm actually not attacked. You are one of the Indians for solidarity. But if you want to come to any hard, in a hard, what's an opportunity? A good example. Madare is on a platform. You know, you call us here, Madare. We're going to make a scene this year. Uh, kuliko one of the mwanaume wa political space alikuwa amedefile into Eden but because anatoka to a certain political space politician na uligano politician alikuwa na defend na ilikuwa any dem ajaribu kubonga na rusha na mane so mimi nikaambia je na jua mna ni accusing hivi but nirushie maneno at risk juu mimi pia niko na jeshi naita jeshi ndio na jeshi unirushie maneno ikijua na kujua Mr. Kweka, because sometimes ina, kuz, ina kubi, like, utumio kifua kama, utaku wa kama achali, but utumio kifua kama achali, no, at least people will respect. And I believe you, you know, 
Kwa ama demoza ya liku walitukana mesikutukana. In fact, kila mtama sama nye feminist hapo msimu kweli hapo hivi na hivi. But you see, it should not be because it's me. Nile privilege niko na ama jumi neza bonga na neza hivi. He put it direct. But wale mademu ingine nyo kona bonga mwana na kuwa attacked. Because wame question, violation ni meapeni ya mtu idemi na mekwa defile. Enyi merudishyo tuwa political discussion of who supports which politician and not which politician. When you get online and you get harassed, you don't feel it. You feel it. I think also is to acknowledge my strong support system around Mimi. Because, you know, with online space, it's your own private space. You have control. But when you have to attack, you have to attack your space privately and you have to attack. Then who could enjoy that their physical security and we could because you know, in a in a in a could deprive in a in a in a in a in a issues of digital security, yeah. So, now but most of the time, come on a strong support system. Man, they would have cheesy, set the day for apple. You want a moment and near sequel from Tandao. Nicoling and Azile, he'll experience nearly part of Tandao. Nakan he leads to a point even had to leave out of this country for security reasons. Na unajuliza na maswali mingi, kuzwe na sema activism moso, unachomepi online kumobilize. As much as ndio na believe kama community organizer, kumobilize from a tradition way ya watu kukam kumit kuzungumza, that's more powerful. Ato kina politician ona prefer iyo as much as online, ndio kunapia watu amtanda ona kushift narrative, but physical ya tradition way ya kumit watu it's more powerful. I think for clarity, I'll not talk about the others. I've been on that shoes. I've been profiling that group by a scene and the rest. I've been criminalizing that group. And uh, being criminalized, it was a period that even in this country we were going through a tough time during the case of our comrade Caroline Mwatha. And um, I happened to be in an interview in honor of the national TV with the police spokesperson. And that's what made even them asking for police accountability in the rule of law. Took my pictures and criminalized me in that group. First, I was criminalized as a leader of a criminal gang in Nairobi. Secondly, as someone who does not even support human rights that support criminals. And through even the comments, the way they had criminalized me is when I got people even saying I should be killed like Caroline Mother. It went even as if thinking each, each people's life don't matter, matter. To a point of even someone saying, Nafani repiwe na nikula kopa kopa. So for me, even talking about this subject, I've been there. I felt the pain. I felt the pain where also you're going to ask the same system to support you or to give you protection. And then you're told, sort your life. And that's why I had to go to exile. Because as advice, you have to live. Because previously, even the people who were put in that group, they were murdered. So, and looking at the comments, there were more even than a thousand, and everybody was bashing me for me asking for that accountability. And uh, it makes you feel sad that at other than the torture, but the more you get, you get to criminalize even. Me, I'm not no matter how much life, young man, open book. We don't let just scandal your sex. You stay jolly. Because I'm very clear with my feminist politics, I can sleep with whoever I want to sleep as long as it's consensual and they're not a child. I'm very clear on that. So, when I come to my story, I can try to make my biology criminalize while you're not at work. Because it's not public. I'm not saying that. Because you know, to make an against women, if you have a lot of people who are not going to be able to do it, but the point. Even when I was trying to, to look at it, I was link the fact that I was a ghetto, I was link to criminality, what was going on. And most of the people who were going on middle class people. Because if you were a ghetto on a smartphone, you don't have to analyze the class. When you were on a smartphone or a ghetto, they were very clear. They were them, ni activists, who them, ni feminists, who them, and what they were doing. So even the old Kenya, 
mwenye huko tunasita kukua pigania hili bareshu walisahau mwenye mwenye kwa kini komenti area ingine wakanza kunirokota mimi ni leader of a criminal gang and that's even for me if you ask me it's not only akinesi na maboy there have been a lot of young women that have been criminalized in digital spaces unaekelewa ulikuwa manzi ya dingo unaekelewa ulisanya mahali so unapata unakuja unakuwa unashindwa mtu anakuzuia hata freedom yako ya kumove and expect when they are all women and girls not only women but also girls eh because kuna madam pia wanaingia online nani pata one kitu nasema ni safe ni because advocacy work ya kazi tunafanya pia kuna mali unajonga kutaka kushika gava lazima maybe for example when they twitter ndio wa react na tumeona vitu mingi zime work through hiyo space ya kutumia digital space so kama pia to educate madam control on how to utilize na pia at the same time kwa safe unaona tuna reduce number ya watu madem wengi online Kitu mimi nasema as much as ningori pia ni powerful eh? the same way to na fight other struggle the fact un exist kama mwanamke already pia ningori in this global south globally kwa mashinani kwa ofisi kwa church kila mal the fact you are a woman you have to work more times than men which it's very bad it shouldn't be that way but kuna opportunity opportunity meaning mwana nabonga na epi kwa hiyo mtandao maybe tu ya mama tu ako attack si ndio ako na issue do ina affecting siezi siezi ignore wana to affecting but at the same time tuzisema tume fight liberation yetu kwa hii traditional space tunaweza meet ongeembelea wanaume ungekuwa baraza and then tuseme tuna chama cha the online space when they could thrive na sisi tusi thrive so lazima we have to fight for our own space there collectively not individually collectively as a women constituency or an unmen constituency we have to fight for our space there na reason mimi nasema pia na women is also to for people identify non men sorry as let's say heterosexuals you see um ama tuseme kwa mtu pia na identify as gender and conforming lazima ensure like is to ensure this sort of space in accommodate everybody cuz pia it comes even worse if you are a lesbian woman i think first for me shout out is to the people who have worked with me When kila mtu ana feel ataki kwa na richo mwekali politics zake ni problematic kuna wale baadaye ni embrace hii job ni lonely na ni kama ambulance na ina mshahara acha na wale iko na mshahara ina kama mshahara ni kama ya church so for me anybody that has worked with me invested on me as a person um be with me when I, I was in a moment you feel you are crazy you are depressed you have anxiety manze shout out to them and also shout out to every woman that in whichever bigger or small way we are fighting for safety and security and women's rights or non men manze big up so the role of also men is also calling out men who are violent or lying to women kama calling so online wakati na chali ananiambia ananitukana na nani violate asema richo repiona ukinyamaza pia wewe knowingly you part of that catalyzing your violence so pia nyima chalika wao mnasema nyao tunasema si ni alliance in supporter and then pia in those small small spaces that you think they are not impactful they can be impactful wakati mnaenda kukunywa one for the roads kama best yako lenga kutumia am call out cuz if you want a space that is inclusive for all of us a good example of us who are here outside defending mkisa but if they were not here outside defending also other women that have gone through the same thing and the same thing i was saying even before it came aliza there's a lot of online blackmail with cases that we have received as coalition for grass which are defending as moikali of men blackmailing women human rights defenders that they have been having let's say intimate or casual things together 
and the, the threat is that I'm going to expose you online. Ana jo online kuna watu wanaku respect, kuna watu wanajua wewe ni uko authentic na kazi yako. So the hiyo ni pia ni threat trending ina may increase that we have to call out that hakuna mtu akona mambo pia data privacy na privacy pia online that total of our respect privacy ya watu na ukiexpose uki mtu pia wewe shikwa kwa sababu ni privacy life yangu na sheria inasema vipi so si excuse that you know kuna right ya kuzungumza na kuna pia ni oppress hiyo zipo